Fourier transform of rectangular pulse. If signal in time domain is rect t, this rectangular pulse is 1 from minus 1 by 2 to plus 1 by 2 and 0 otherwise. The waveform for rectangular pulse is 1 from minus 1 by 2 to plus 1 by 2 and it is 0 otherwise. This is rectangular pulse. Now its Fourier transform is x omega, which is integration of x t e to the power minus g omega t from minus infinity to plus infinity. But the rectangular pulse is rectangular pulse is zero from minus infinity to minus one by two. And it is again 0 from 1 by 2 to infinity. So the limits are now minus 1 by 2 to plus 1 by 2. And between, between minus 1 by 2 to plus 1 by 2, rectangular pulse is 1. Sorry. So x omega is... The integration is now one by minus one by j omega e to the power minus j omega t. Lower limit is minus one by two, upper limit is plus one by two. So x omega is minus one by j omega e to the power minus j omega by 2 minus e to the power plus j omega by 2. So x omega is 2 by omega e to the power j omega by 2 minus e to the power minus j omega by 2 divided by 2j. So x omega is now 2 by omega sin omega by 2. or x omega is sin omega by 2 divided by omega by 2. This is the Fourier transform of rectangular pulse. If omega is replaced by 2 pi f, then we can write xf. xf is now sin pi f divided by pi f and sine pi f by pi f is sinc f. Sinc of f. So 
to Fourier transform of rectangular pulse is sink function. This sink function sink function is one when f is tending towards zero and this sink function is zero for f plus minus 1 but plus minus 1 plus minus 2 plus minus th plus minus 3 and so on so the curve for sink function As the frequency increases, the value of sink decreases. At frequency 0, value of sink is 1. And at 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on, sink function is 0. Similarly, at minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, sink function is 0. So Fourier transform of rectangular pulse is sink function.